Hi guys, it's me, it's Monique. Hello to all my New Beginnings family out there. I'm coming to you today to give you a positive vibe. I mean, much love. To let you know how much I miss you guys, that you're in my heart, you're always on my mind, and you're in my prayers constantly. I can't wait till we can come back to church and we can actually hug one another. And um, it's going to be great to reunite with you guys again. But until then, this is how we're going to have to do it. So let's thank the Lord that we can do it this way. So, I have a challenge for you guys, my New Beginnings family. I am challenging you all today. I'm challenging you, each and every one, to let me know, and not just me, but let us all know what your favorite Bible verse is. I want you to record your Bible verse. Let us know your favorite Bible verse and why it means so much to you. And then once you've recorded that, we want you to go to our New Beginnings page and we want you to go to Posts and we want you to go to Add Your Video. And so you can post that on our New Beginnings page. So I cannot wait to see all of you guys get on there and to see all your favorite Bible verses. So, I will go first. My favorite Bible verse, guys. I, ha I have many. I'm sure a bunch, all of us have many. Uh, if I had to choose one that resonates with me every day in my life, it would have to be Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That sure does res resonate with me in my life every day. I don't know about you guys, but when I was out in the world, out in sin, God was still there for me. He was still my strength. I just didn't know it. But until that day, I can remember... I completely let go of the reins and I let God have it all. I completely surrendered to the Lord for everything. I relied completely on the Lord because He is my strength. He truly is my strength. I have been through so many struggles and so many losses in my life and battled so many things in my life, guys. Let me tell you what, the Lord loves us so much. He has gotten me through every struggle that I've ever been through. And I want to thank the Lord today for all of my struggles. I know the Lord is going to allow us to go through things. He sure, has have, he sure has allowed me to go through many things. But let me tell you what. He has now opened my eyes and my ears to see and hear the struggles that I have been through. And has actually showed me why I walked through that. And that He was with me. And how strong each time that I come out from each situation. I thank God for that today. And I praise Him. I get emotional when I think about it. Because that day, I literally felt the hand of God reach down and touch me. And I have been forever changed. So I will always serve the Lord. I will always praise Him. For He is worthy to be praised. And I will not be shaken by anything. Because I know no matter what I go through, what struggle I might face, the Lord is my strength. The Lord's going to get me through it. He's going to walk right with me through it all. And then at the end of it, that struggle, when I come out better, He's going to let me know why I walked through that storm. And I, I'm just so grateful for my Father today. He loves us all so much. So, and, and, and another thing that I look at, like, if I go shopping or if I get out or if I'm looking for something for the house or just anything, there it is. Always. Philippians 4.13. Staring me in my face all the time. Whether it's a new Bible cover or something to put in my Bible or a plaque to hang in my house. There it is. Philippians 4.13. It's like the Lord's constantly reminding me, I'm your strength, my child, and I love you. So, I love my father. And I hope you all have been celebrating Holy Week this week. I have. I have my red ribbons hung up on my porch. And, you know, we are going through a struggle right now through this Easter week. But look at the struggle and the tragedy that they went through when our Lord was here on this earth. He gave his life that week, guys. And he rose on the third day. So, we're going to get through this struggle and this virus today. Just think about what he's done for us. Think about think about what he sacrificed for us. Think about what, just think about it. It, it. If you cannot truly sit there and think about what the Lord has done for you when he shed his blood for you that day on that cross, if you can't sit there and be humbled, there's something wrong. 
because he gave his life for you, willingly gave his life for each and every one of us, for the forgiveness of our sins and salvation. What a wonderful blessing. Let's celebrate our Father this, this week. But not only this week, we need to get up and celebrate him every day that he breathes life back into us, us every morning. It's a true blessing. So, the challenge is on, guys. I'm challenging you all. Get on there. Let us know what your favorite Bible verse is and why it is your favorite Bible verse. And what that Bible verse is pulled you through. So, I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you. But, keep God so close in your heart every day. And, I can't wait to see all of your favorite Bible verses. And, since we are closing today, I'm not only going to challenge our New Beginnings family to this challenge. I'm going to challenge every church and every person that comes on to our New Beginnings page or sees this video that has been put out, I'm challenging you pastors out there in your churches to challenge your church families to have them go on and record and post to your church pages, if you have one, their favorite Bible verses and why it resonates with them so well and why it's so special to their heart. And, but if they can't post and you do not have a church page, page we want you to come to New Beginnings and post it on our page and get it out there. So I'm challenging I'm on New Beginnings family. The challenge is on for your favorite Bible verse and also every other church around and every person watching this video. I'm challenging you today to get your favorite Bible verse out there, record it, post it on our New Beginnings page, or go and post it on your on your church's page. So I love each and every one of you. Let's get God in the atmosphere this week and every day that we wake up. I love you guys. Many blessings today, and I can't wait to see each and every one of you. Love you.